So what I like about this bike, I've just got some flat pedals on here for just kicking around Sydney, uh, commuting and stuff. This bike is great. You can get this stem. I'll put a longer stem on there. I just bought this bike for seven fifty uh, off a guy who's had it for a few years, hardly ridden it. Justin, thanks for the deal, mate. Seven hundred and fifty dollars Australian. It was advertised about fourteen hundred bucks for over six months. Hadn't sold. I bought it as is with different pedals for seven hundred fifty dollars Australian. And so, well, the stem is great. You can flip it around for a bit higher stack if you want to see through traffic. But for Adelaide riding, I'd probably flip that stem down and put a longer one on there. Okay, it's just it just goes so good, man. You know, it's so good. Let's find some better lighting to show you how conditioned uh, this bike is. These bikes are just incredible. The new Tarmax. Put your earphones in, people. Put your earphones in. I'll slow down because the wind's a bit big. Got your earphones in? Okay. The new Tarmax, the new Roubaix's are a fucking disgrace, man. To the ones like this. These these Tarmax, these Roubaix's from yesteryear. Rim brake versions, super light. If you know, you know. Far superior riding, far superior racing, far superior to travel with, far superior value. Far superior to get spare parts for. Far superior in developing a romantic relationship with your bike. Because it inspires you to ride. Okay. And far safer to ride because you know about the disc brake failures that we're seeing, all the crashes because of the the rotors warping or the rotors overheating or the wheels just locking up unpredictably. It's insane. Absolutely insane. The new the new tarmac disgrace. Disgrace to the specialised name. Disgrace to the tarmac name. <laughs> the new Roubaix. A freaking gravel bike. We don't want to ride that in the cobbles. Well, I should say, you wouldn't want to race it in the cobbles. This is so heavy and sluggish. You prefer the old SL4 Roubaix like Tom Boonen used to crack it on. We do have a lot of wind today, so hopefully it's not too windy. You sort of see the leaves blowing around here. Bike. This, so, this bike is so flickable, it just, it's so nimble, man. The new bikes, the disc brake bikes, road disc, just not as nimble, all right? If you know, you know. If you've ever ridden or owned one of these S-Works Tarmacs or rim brake Tarmac with some you know, light parts in it, you know what I'm talking about. It's just, I mean, look at the condition of this bad boy. It's a bit dirty, but it's in mint condition, man. It's in mint condition. 750 bucks. There's nothing like it on the market from Specialized today, brand new, that rivals this level of performance, all right? If you know, you know, okay? It's amazing, man. Like, it's just such a nice bike to ride. Instant power transfer, it just cranks. Yes, it's super, super light. If you crash it, like any super light bike, it's not gonna be as strong, but we're talking here pure performance. The rim brakes with a, a 622 millimeter rotor. People are running 140mm rotors, I'm running a 622mm rotor. And the brake is in the center, so it's perfectly balanced. When your brake is down here with a skinny road tire, it's not as stable and safe, and it locks up too easy. These tight, these brakes, dual pivot Shimano, dual pivot Shimano, Dura-Ace brakes, in fucking incredible, man. If you know, you know. I've ridden a Dura-Ace disc, and it's great on your gravel bike with a nice two inch fat tire <laughs> or a 40 mil tire at least. But with a skinny road race tire, road disc is just too dangerous. Once you have that panic brake situation, you'll be like, Duran Rider's right. Duran Rider was right. All right. Before you had the panic brake situation, you think Duran Rider's full of it. Then when one day you have a panic brake situation on your skinny road tires, and you'll be like, shit, I should be on rim brakes. Perfect, man. Absolutely perfect. What an incredible bike, man. Absolutely amazing. People say, what's the difference between the one, two, three, four, five, six Tarmac SLs? Um, not much, really. They're much of a muchness, man, really. If you've got a, a Durace grip set or a Shramo grip set on there, some decent wheels and nice tires, they're all much of a muchness, really. I like the SL1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 because it's got 27.2 seat posts. The SL6 has a, a fanged angle D shaped one, so it's more proprietary. So it's, you know, Getting your perfect fits a bit harder. Uh, it does have direct mount brakes on the SL6, so a bit better tire clearance if you want to run 30s, but then again, who's running that? 
there you go, man. I'm, I'm running 23s or 25s, some roads 28s, but most of the time 23s or 25s, especially for Adelaide. Thailand, 23s. Uh, Sydney, probably 28s, because the roads in Sydney are pretty sh shocking. Beautiful bikes, man. Amazing bikes. If you want a bike like this, join my coaching group. I hope you find one. Duramart.com. We dropped the fork out on this one and no, no damage to the fork at all. So perfect bike. Tour de France. There's nothing better in the Tour de France right now like than this bike. Obviously, without those pedals. Amazing stuff. But these pedals are worth you to mention. These are from Pedaling Innovations. And they're a great commuter pedal, flat pedal. I'm just riding around Sydney, just, you know, exploring, buying shoes, flipping bikes, etc. And they're just great. Got some, you know, some Nike Air structures on there and just get around. Look at, that. Look at the condition of this derailleur. Look at the condition of this derailleur, man. Look at the condition of that derailleur. <laughs> Look at that. Not even a scratch on it, man. $750 for this bike. Look at that. Look at that power adjuster, man. Look. It's almost got stock dust in Japan on there. Look at the condition of that thing. Hasn't been dropped, man. Oh, maybe one little drop there. That's for me already. Mint condition, man. Look at that. Right. That's how you tell if the bike's done hardly any Ks. It's got hardly any cable rub. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow, beautiful. And these brake pads are 15 years old. 15 years old, and they're still working immaculately. Still working peak. 15 year old brake pads, still going. Imagine a, a hydro road disc brake bike in 15 years time. How everything's gonna be so worn out, all the oil, deep demineralizing all the rubber inside the thing but with this look at it man look at this stuff still works perfect 50 some 2008 this is a 2008 bike still working absolutely perfect so it really it, it irritates me it frustrates me it triggers me <laughs> when i see these cycling influencers on youtube or social media or magazines just selling out gaping their cheeks they've got the latest bike oh it's amazing it's amazing and most of these guys have ridden bikes like this. So you know they're absolutely bullshitting you. And that's really disappointing, all right? Really disappointing. This bird here is a magpie. Australian magpie. People have died from this bird trying to fly, ride away from it and crash to their bike and died. If a magpie swoops, you don't worry about it. Just keep riding and eventually it'll stop within like a minute or two or less. Probably 30 seconds, actually. Once you get into the territory, you do okay. They only peck you, swoop you, uh, if you're walking or riding. It's generally the month is August to September. But I've made a lot of money from magpies. I love when they swoop me. But I've been, I haven't been swooped for over a decade. The last time I got swooped by a magpie, I made thousands of dollars. MTV literally bought the rights to the video I made. And they gave me royalties on that. So magpie swooping, I love it. But unfortunately, it's been a decade since I've been swooped. But this is the Australian magpie. And I'll eat anything fruits, vegetables, bicyclists.